I gravitated toward the fellowship application because I wanted to sort of reestablish a connection that I previously had. I came into the local food industry as a student trying to obtain my business degree and as a competition created a business that would impact the community around the school which is a central community. So we opted to create a food co-op and we won that competition and were asked to create that business. It was the first time that I really became familiar with what uh, Food Desert was at the time. And although I knew what it was, I wasn't familiar with the terminology. And it was a, a great opportunity for me to have some input, work with residents, and try to establish connections with resources and residents at the same time. So fast forward several years later, uh, when the network dissipated, I started growing again. And I always had this idea to want to connect the residents to what existed and to be able to nurture a network that would provide for what didn't exist. And this was the opportunity. I wasn't going to pass it up. I thought it was an excellent opportunity to get back in. Well, I joined the fellowship because Nursing Power gave this amazing presentation at Riddle Urban Farm and I thought it was like well thought out and put together and I thought that it would be a good opportunity to make connections with like-minded individuals and they had a very impressive board. So the fellowship was very key to helping grow my vision through exposure. Exposed to so many new organizations that are already established doing a lot of the same work. Also through the networking events. So finding out who's who, putting faces to emails and names and pictures and online profiles. They were able to actually bring them to life. And we had some amazing group sessions, think tank type of events, and that was phenomenal. Well, the fellowship offered me something that I, I hadn't expected from the beginning, and that was nuance. I had a general idea from 2009. I know that we needed to establish a hub where the network could communicate with each other about what deficiencies were there, what policies needed to be changed. And we always talked about a website that would serve that space because it was hard to get brick and mortar. And when I did join the fellowship, there were structures that were involved that I hadn't, hadn't considered. There was nuance, there was team building, there was thousand little uh, wheels that go around inside the clock that I hadn't really thought about. And they gave me a really good plan to go from A to Z and set some milestones and establish a network and, and really kind of grow into the program that I had initially wanted to establish. And it became bigger than I thought it would. And, and now it's coming to fruit and I'm really excited about it. I'm really excited about the impact that Nordstar can have. And that was 100% Sweatland Center, 100% fellowship. And my fellows, um, although all of them have their respective projects, it's surprising how much we connect and how most of us have some fellowship from the access point of view. I'd love for others to know that this organization is well put together by a lot of community food justice activists and participants. They've actually taken enough time to get to know and to bridge gaps between making connections, I would say, with others. And anything that someone is looking for, there's either a direct connect and they have some resources for it, or they know how to get you to where you're going. And so that's phenomenal. We can talk a lot about what needs to happen, but when you're in a space with others that can help make it happen, that could be the very thing that would be the game changer for your project. Learned in this process is that collaboration is essential. Nobody is an island and nobody has all of the answers. Collaborating has not always been my strong point. I have strong views and I learned really to humble myself and listen to what other, other people have to say and listen to other points of view. And that part of it really blessed me because I started to learn that when I'm at my limit of what I know, then somebody else has something to offer. And that team building part, the, the collaboration is sort of the broadest and almost the hardest part to get used to, but it is essential 
not to limit yourself to just what you know and allow other people to help you expand the vision that you have. And that, that was essential for me. One of the most essential because collaboration wasn't something that I was really excited about, team building. In my project, there are several different teams uh, that establish different uh, objectives. And one, uh, for example, is establishing a, a team that will help me build the infrastructure for the site, which means that I have to really be concerned that we all have the same objective, that we have similar experiences, and that we go into it knowing that as a unit, exactly what we want and agree on those things. There's another team within inside the project that I'm not so active in, and that's an advisory team for the network. And I wanted to establish leaders in the industry for every single segment of the network and allow them to run that because I don't have that experience. And being able to step back and trust that these leaders who have longevity, who have experience, can do exactly what they've been doing for as long as they've been doing it and trust that that process will add to the project as a whole. There's also another team with building my board that requires a different set of skills, a different set of experience. So sitting down and understanding how to qualify people and how to collaborate with organizations and businesses that was huge for me and I'm still learning. I'm still a baby in the process, but I'm growing because I have a lot of experience behind me and a lot of organizations that have existed for a very long time. So I think team building was probably the most essential skill that I learned in this process. And you will too, if you allow yourself not to be the sole actor in this place. Networking number one. Um, I learned networking. I didn't know what I didn't know. Going to events, it's really important to network and follow up. I'm not sure that most know how to do that, but I've learned a lot about that and it has changed what I've done in the past. So in the past, I've gone to events and smiled and enjoyed wonderful connections, and then what? Well, with this, I've made connections and long-term relationships. They've also helped me with my projects and led me to new connections. That is definitely one of the major points. Things being culturally relevant, we're doing things in the community with one another. So whether you're connected with the Latino community, black community, whichever it is, I love that we keep those things in mind and the food for the events are often connected that way as well. So I would say those are pluses. There is a genuine friendship that has evolved between me and my fellows. I never expected the degree to which I have gravitated towards some of them because I didn't know they existed. It's sort of like when you graduate from high school, you've gone to school with these people, you've experienced difficulties or joys or whatever, and 10 years later you come back to celebrate because you're a certain type of family. And that's what I feel. When, when I go to a community event and I see my fellows working in their projects, I have come to appreciate that. I also support them because I know their objective is the same as mine. It may be in a different lane, but we have similar objectives to impact the city of Cleveland. And it's surprising how much it comes back to you when you give because probably regarded by most of them the same way I regard them. And I appreciate that. That's another family and another team that really is essential for growth. Lastly, I'd love to share that there's a lot of work to be done in the food justice area. However, we have to start somewhere. Don't delay whatever your idea is or your concept is. Allow nourishing power to water your seeds, help you plant your seeds, find soil for your seeds so that they can nurture and grow. And the relationships that we get out of this will go on for eons of time.